Hello, Simvicta. Hello, Northern Lion. How's it going? It's going uh, pretty well. How is it going with you? Doing great. Ready to start a brand new week here. Uh, you know, sometimes you get knocked down, but you're never out of it. We just got to start a new winning streak record here and bring it back because we can't let Canada win all the time. Yeah, well, it helps when we get guesses that are an hour outside of where I live. But, uh, three, two, one, good luck. Good luck, have fun. This is... Uh, hopefully we don't get we don't get like right down like the road from Whistler and stuff. No. Well, I mean, I'll tell you, anywhere in Vancouver, you're screwed. In right. fact, it might it's probably better for you now that I think about it to get Vancouver than to get Whistler, because at least you would see <laughs> signs that are probably like you know, hey, Vancouver, you know, it's Granville Street. Yep. But in Whistler, you might not even know where you are. But the odds of us getting that again are are very low. I didn't realize how how uh, how popular Whistler was. I didn't know it was such a destination until you started talking about it. And then, like, I've I've actually had friends who actually have gone to Whistler before. Yeah, I think I'm it's like, the, really. I think it's the most. Well, I'm not gonna say every year, but fairly consistently the highest trafficked North American uh, ski and snowboard resort. Mm-hmm. But I mean, there's, I mean, in the U.S., you have tons of good ones too. Jackson Hole, you know, Vale in Colorado. That's all I really know. <laughs> I've, I have always wanted to go to Colorado. I heard it's, uh, I heard it's very pretty up there. And I mean, and truth be told, I, I, I'd like to go to Canada one day. Oh, I know yeah. it might be, might be hard to believe because I'm so anti canadia but uh, I mean, it is the country that's. I mean, I guess it's not closest to you, but it's like, I, you know, now that I think about it, it's probably not even like second or third closest to you because you have, uh, you know, the Caribbean countries, but, yep, you know, it's somewhere in there. Well, the Texas, I mean, the, the, the closest country we have is Mexico, obviously, and Me Mexico is a different kind of beautiful down there in uh, Cabo, or not Cabo, uh, in uh, Cancun, but going up to Canada would be... I, I I'm not against it at all. I mean, there's Canada's got everything I like. They got cold weather. They got good food. They like potatoes up there. You're not <laughs> you're not like consistently chastised for eating potatoes all the time. So. Um, yeah, I mean, yes, <laughs> yes and no. Uh, <laughs> yes and no. It depends where you're at. If you go to a de like a, it's, it sounds kind of rude, but if you go to like a destination city in Canada, you will get good food. Mm -hmm. If you, I mean, it's the same as the U.S., you know? If you are a tourist and you go to, like, a big city, there's great food. If you go to a town of, like, 50,000 people, there might be, like, you know, a couple of good restaurants. But, a, you know, a lot of, like, the same eight or nine chains as well. Yeah, yeah. Man, I do not want to drive in this city. It's a, you know, every time we come here, I'm, I know that I said it last, I think last week was the last time we were here. Um, but I'll say it again. I'll just reiterate: the streets mm. on this in this country, or especially the city, are just immaculate. There's no litter anywhere. Nothing. There's no trash. No nothing. You it's are, like you are correct. I, I don't know why it. I noticed that so much, but it's you know I know we see that a lot in uh, in Japan and Korea as well. Is that where you think we are right now? Come on. <laughs> I've already. I, I can guess whenever, whenever you're ready, because I, I don't think I, I'm gonna get any closer. I think I'm a little further away than I'd like to be, but I, okay. mean, I only have 30 seconds. I, I think this is good enough. No, don't let me rush you. No, I'm no, just no. looking. Around. I'm just perusing around. I have already guessed. I have guessed as well. I got you by 227. Yeah, I let myself get a little. Uh... I saw a sign that was like Beja and Tunis this way, and I was like, "Oh, we must be just outside of both of those cities." But ah, yeah, Beja, yeah, Beja, Beja. It's my favorite rune in the Binding of Isaac. Uh, what is your favorite rune in the Binding of Isaac? The guys, probably. That's a good one. That's an advanced I level choice for sure. I know everyone wants to say Yera. No, but... here's the: those people are short-sighted. <laughs> Yera hey, is the best you said rune. It not me, brother. <laughs> it's the best rune in a couple of situations. Yeah. Like on the chest, it's great. And, you know, even on a shop or something, it can be great. Uh, mm -hmm. But for much of the game, I don't think it's that good. 
it's useful. Don't get me wrong. I, I don't think it's like best in best in class. I think that Yara suffers. Most people who love Yara runes, they, they suffer from like always swinging for the fences. When in reality, you should be like, hey, if you get a ten and rock that drops one or two soul hearts, dude, just double that. Yeah, that's like, if you need the HP. That's that's a lot better than saving it all the way to the chest. Yeah, but know? it's boring. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> we gotta we gotta it's make boring it boring for me at least. But I like the guys because the guys it gives you a soul heart. You don't have to worry about curses at all, and you can just give the middle finger to the game. Once like you know, here's curse the blind. And it's like all right, well here's a freaking the guys room, you nerd. Yeah, I really like it because of the fact that it undoes all of the bad design choices surrounding curses in the game. Yep, without being insanely rude, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but still kind of rude. Yeah, Tyrone, what the heck? Just freaking learn how to design a game. The uh, some of the curses, like you can't see your HP, annoying but meaningfully difficult. Uh, when you walk into a room, you might be teleported to another room, just annoying. So the biggest, the the bigger question now for you, Northern Lion, yeah. is what is your favorite rune Honestly, in the Binding of Isaac? Is probably Perthro. Really? Yeah. Well, I guess that, that, that I can I can definitely see that because of the fact that you know he carries over the everything that's good about the D six, and you have to uh, you can use it basically whenever you want to. But if you have some, if you could turn something basically something from nothing, essentially. Yeah, I mean it's like uh, I think it's just usable. Fa Actually, you know what? My favorite rune is not Perthro. It's Black Rune for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Black Rune's probably up there as well. The ability to turn a garbage that. space bar item into something that's not garbage, but could mm -hmm. still be garbage, I guess, if you get uh, shot speed. If you get, uh, like, shot speed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, it's probably my favorite. That's, that's my guess. I'm just looking for the town. Same... But I don't I mean, think I, I'm gonna find it. I mean, obviously you you know what country we're in. Yes, because the flag was freaking everywhere. Actually, I I didn't see a flag, but I saw many. Really? I saw many top level domains. Oh, so you saw you saw JP then? Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! What's so funny? He thinks we're in Japan. We're not in Japan. Uh, what tipped you off? For me, it's the houses uh, that look like they're in America. It's all the Japanese that I'm seeing <laughs> everywhere. Honestly, but no, I, I saw the, there there are flags everywhere in this town. I'm gonna say like over here. I don't know how. I'm not sure how big this this city is on the map. I, just, I don't know. You know, I'm going to put it there because that's near the capital of my... Uh... Oh, I did find the city. Oh, okay. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> I did I was, not. I was looking... I was looking at uh, I was looking at Hamilton because I was mm. going to say it's the capital of Bermuda, and then Huntley is right there. <laughs> it is right there, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. I got you by 2100. Yeah. That, that was just sheer luck right there. But I mean, I knew we were in New Zealand because the New Zealand flag was literally everywhere. Well, this place is freaking beautiful. New Zealand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, you know, if you, you think this place is beautiful too? That's cool. Those I mean, bother maybe. me. What? You seen this flag? Oh, I've I've seen all I need to see. You're thinking we see? You thinking we're we see French? But we're not in France. I am ahead of that. Look, I know what country it is. <laughs> I hope so, yeah. I don't I mean, there's only one city in this uh country that I would assume we were in since it's the biggest one here. Well, if you're ready to guess, I'm ready to guess. I mean, yeah. It's, well, <laughs> no, let me let me look for the okay, airport. Let, okay. me, let me try to find... Have you found the airport? I have no comment on the, the question of uh, the existence of airports. 
Instead, I will use this time to practice my Duolingo skills. Votre satisfaction, notre priorité. Your satisfaction, our priority. All right. Depart passager. That's departing passengers. Right. Salon d'honneur. I don't know that one, to be honest. It's a something room. Waiting room, maybe? What about... Dakar Centres. Yes, I mean, that's, uh, I could tell you for sure what that means. I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think that, I think I actually was, I, I actually was duping myself. Now that I think about it. Because mm. of all this freaking French. Where is it at? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, so I saw that. Uh, I, I'm ready to guess, by the okay, way. Okay, let's do it. I saw the, I, I was duping myself for a second there. Because I I, re- I had to look at that flag and been like, yeah, that's not the Libyan flag. I saw I saw oh, yeah, a, an yeah. oil an oil <laughs> Lib- Libya stuff. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm g- really glad I didn't make the guess though. Because when I saw the flag and I saw all the French and I was like, eh, I think that this is going to be Senegal. Yeah, I mean it's- the sign said the car Senegal and had the street address. Yeah, yeah. That being said, I, got I, still, you, but- I still put us at the wrong airport. <laughs> I actually got closer than you. I buy like a hundred points, something like that, ninety-six points. We were at the military airport. Wow, a lot of a lot of Middle Eastern guesses. It's a poor start. I I do feel compelled to say that uh, Senegal, not in the Middle East. Yeah, but we had uh, we had Tunisia the first time. We did have Tunisia the first time. And then what was the what was the second guess? New Zealand. New Zealand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's not really Middle East, but I will say I don't even I get where you're coming from here. I don't know if Tunisia is the Middle East. It might be. I don't really know what the Middle East is. I thought it was like calling someone tall. Like it doesn't it depend on your <laughs> perspective. It's all about, we're not we're not in America. It's just about perspective, bro. Because like when I think of the Middle East, I think of Anything on like the Arabian Peninsula, right? Which is probably accurate. I mean, you're smarter than I am. Well, I, I just I don't I, know the. I feel like you might know more about the Middle East than me. No, I don't. Based at on, all, you know, the country in which you live, <laughs> and, the, <laughs> and the activities that uh, they. What do you What do you try to infer I'm here? Trying uh, to infer that you would probably um, the, the country of the United States of America has uh, more international uh diplomacy in the region than the country of canada we do like to swing with our diplomacies yes a lot. Uh, no i'm trust me i'm aware we're presently i don't know if it ever resolved itself but you know we were in a dispute uh with your country over uh can't remember milk it's like milk or grain or something like that <laughs> that doesn't that sounds like a very a very canadian u.s fight it's people are like i almost said a fired bad up word. people are fired up yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> uh do you know where we are i do not know where we are dab on them haters i did see dab i think we're over here no it has to be over here This is a tough one. This is a touchy one. There's there's tricks being played here. Mm. I'll tell you, wherever we are, they do not respect uh, the hegemony of the English language. There's very little English text. It makes right. it hard to get around as a as a tourist. I feel like we're not going to see that many McDonald's over here. Uh, that would not surprise me. That would not surprise see. me. I mean, I have. Are, are you looking at the sign that has a? Uh, I think there are three cities on there. I have not seen that sign. Okay, that's good. That's good. But it doesn't help me that much either because I'm not finding them on. I, I think I know the road. I, I think that I found this road. I'm only seeing one of those. 
the road that I'm on right now, definitely I do not feel like this city was built, uh, purpose built. <laughs> you know what I mean? This, <laughs> it was not like they went, okay, this is where Main Street is going to be. This is where like First Avenue is going to be and et cetera, et cetera. They're like, this is where ancient markets existed. So we're just going to pave the way from... We're right, gonna, we're gonna pave what used to be there. I'm gonna say we're closer to here. Just, I'm gonna try to play it safe. I don't think we're in that city. Okay, I'm glad I did that. Yeah, we're in the same country. You got me by another 200, though. I was closer to Amman first, but I found the sign that I had. It had something. It looked like Shubak, like S H U B A K. Mm. But this city is called S, like Shobak. So I assume that was one of those things where it's just a different spelling on the map, maybe. Is it uh, possible? Yeah. Oh man, this is gorgeous! Wow, this is so pretty. It's okay. <laughs> it's like it's not Canada, but it's all right. It it looks nice. <laughs> Definitely looks nice. It's beautiful over here, man. This is like. Seeing this much like the this much like grasslands mixed in with a with a mountain in the background and so many hills is just like not something you see in Texas. No, mm, well, I believe that. Hey, ladies, where are you going? On the other hand, how many college football stadiums with an attendance cap capacity of over fifty five thousand do you think they have here? I'm gonna guess zero. I, I'm thinking zero is the probable answer there. I'm also admiring the fact that every single house I've seen so far has been built out of, like, rocks from the mountains themselves. Yeah. And these would probably sell for millions of dollars in California because they were hand all hand-picked. Oh, yeah. Very, it's not even rustic. But I tell you what, these houses are probably more sturdy than any house built in California. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, oh, I would say so. I would I hope so. No, maybe. I feel like my my guess is that the seismology uh, is maybe a little bit not up to the same standards, but I could be wrong. The seismology. So I was actually way off. Wait, you know where we are? I think I know where we are. Well, that's not good because I do not know at all. I think I know. Whoa! Where they are. Whoa! I would not have suspected that we were anywhere over here. Over where? Is the question. I had no idea that this was South America. <laughs> Okay. What's the what's your score right now? It's uh seventeen thousand one ninety nine. I'm at nineteen eight sixty one. Yeah, you pretty much up to this point you've more or less put down a perfect score. But the thing is this one here feels more of like a toss up than anything. Although again, have you seen a language? Yes. You've seen a language, okay. Have you seen a language? I have seen a it's language, all around yes. Us. It unites us. But sometimes it divides us. And sometimes you just don't understand what the heck someone else is saying. It's true. Me trying like, to speak Korean on Twitter. Like you got people talking about plague grenades and bagels. <laughs> and freaking... It's like, what are you talking? Speak English here, buddy. All I'm saying... <laughs> Is the American inability to tolerate slightly unusual pronunciations <laughs> does not bode well for your participation on the global stage as international fortunes change over the next century. Some th you're going to have to get used to not being the default pronunciations, perhaps. Prohibit excrements. They legally can't tell me to do that. You know what? I bet we're I bet we're over here. Because of that right there. I wish I would have came over here first. That's what I'm going off of. I'm going off the fact that I saw French and Spanish. 
And thank God I did because yeah, you like probably would have beaten me. Yeah, but uh, well, how'd you do? <laughs> I, I refuse to accept this. You probably would have beaten me if you got uh, well, I, like well, five grand on the guess. I no, I, I got forty nine twenty nine. Okay, you, but I was originally near the near the the Alps because mm. I was like, oh yeah, I see French, I see mountains, makes sense. But then. Towards the end of the guess, I was looking. I I went back to the start, turned around, and the first freaking language there is French and Spanish. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, well, that would have made things a lot easier because I was I went in the opposite direction all the way. I don't know. I think you probably still would have. Eh, it might have been if close. I put it, it. It may have been close with it with it being twenty one hundred or whatever. I don't know, Matt. Especially with the score that you got on that, you would have nailed that one. But. I'll take it. Yeah, I mean, it was a 24.8 thousand run. I, I almost think that's, perfect. That's definitely, <laughs> I would put that in the range of takeable, yes. That's almost my high. I think that might actually be my personal <laughs> best. That's only 210 off from 25,000. Good yeah, lord. It's pretty I, didn't realize good. It was, I didn't realize it was that good. <laughs> well, Man, uh, that's one I'll way to, it. it's a statement game. You know, you, you Come off of a, perhaps a disappointing week with a chip on your shoulder. You put down a score like that. It's an impressive way to build momentum. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal no matter who you're watching. Watch them at the same time via the view sync on my subreddit, Savictus subreddit. And, of course, we'll see you on Wednesday with another one. See you later.